top five ghosts caught on camera. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok user Alicia Nguyen is alone in her bathroom to record a TikTok video when she captures something truly terrifying. While Alicia switches back and forth from a reflection to herself, what looks to be the figure of a child appears behind her. And then, just as quickly, disappears. Alicia has no idea who or what the mysterious figure could have been. So is it a ghost? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. TikTok user Bailey is the operations manager of an old theater that dates all the way back to the early 1900s. Bailey claims that the theater is extremely haunted, with strange sightings and unexplained voices occurring on a daily basis. Now, for security reasons, Bailey decided not to share the name of the theater on TikTok. But after some digging, I was able to find the name and the location of the theater. However, I will respect Bailey's wishes and I won't share it here. But I do think it's worth noting that the theater has a very haunted past. People believe the theater's founder, who passed away 60 years ago, haunts the playhouse to this day, still looking after his theater. One night when Bailey is alone in the playhouse, he captures something horrifying. All right, guys, so I work at this uh, old theater and I've been hearing a noise. It's a really beautiful theater, as you can see, if you can see it at all. But I keep hearing a noise in here and there's not supposed to be anybody here, so just double checking, but I wanted to film it just in case. There's the ghost light. It's a light we keep on for ghosts, <laughs> for people who still remain here and whatnot. And, um, what the f What is that? Hold on, let me get a better look. Oh, the creepy figure of a man wearing a suit can be seen in the theater's old private balcony. Bailey says he's the only one who has access to the area where the apparition can be seen, so no one could have been up there. So could this be the ghost of the theater's founder still wandering around and keeping an eye on the place? Let me know what you think. In this next video, TikTok user Saleya Ileana is hanging out in the attic with her friend when something absolutely terrifies them. <laughs> She's in there, I'm gonna be so mad. She's not in there. I can't, I can't. It's mom! That makes so scared. Mom! This is like a Why horror movie. She answering? It's probably her mom. She was just messing with us for a long amount of time. I scared the shit out of me. Let's throw something at it. What? What the fuck? Oh my god! Why was it knocking? It was completely closed. Like I shut it. Like I it closes with the lock. Slaya. I'm shaking. Mom! <laughs> Soleya is trying to call her mom on her phone while simultaneously screaming out for her as a door in the attic seems to open on its own. Soleya and her friend are terrified and have no idea what could be opening the attic door. She posted her creepy encounter on TikTok and the video went viral. Then, four days later, she's in the attic again, this time all alone. So I told my mama about the demon that went booga booga and then I got really scared, so she told me I'm not allowed to go to the attic because she's scared, she got freaked out. And so I went to go take a shower, I got out of the shower, she's sleeping, so now it's time to go to the attic. Don't be scared, don't be scared, don't be scared. 
So it turns out there's a fucking raccoon in my attic. <sighs> my mom got it out. So the terrifying demonic creature from hell, after all, was a raccoon. So Leia's TikTok viewers have mixed reactions to this comical explanation. Because sure, a raccoon can tip over a box, but can a raccoon swing open an attic door the way it did in her first video? Many viewers believe that it still could have been something paranormal. But what do you think? Can a raccoon do this? A dangerous obsession. Russian YouTuber Dennis from the YouTube channel Dark Ghost received a strange message from a woman who had seen several of his videos. She explains that her son was very much into the paranormal. He had a large collection of ghostly pictures and paintings and was obsessed with trying to understand the afterlife. After his grandmother passed away, he saw the perfect opportunity to establish contact with her at her home. He left his mother's house with the intention of staying at his deceased grandmother's place for a few days. A week later, his mother got an alarming phone call from her son. In great distress, he explained that objects in the house were moving on their own, and he could hear the angry, threatening voices of both of his deceased grandparents. Before his mother had time to make sense of his call, the line went dead. Soon after, her son's lifeless body was found on the street outside his grandmother's home. He had passed away from a heart attack. The woman is now absolutely devastated and is trying to find an explanation for her son's untimely passing. Dennis travels to the grandmother's home to investigate. During the day, he sets up cameras in the home to record while he's preparing for his nighttime investigation. While he's away, the cameras capture something very disturbing. strange shadow figure crosses the room and soon after the whole house begins to shake violently. Even more compelling, if you look closely, this is not simply a camera trick. Objects throughout the entire room can actually be seen vibrating. When Dennis returns to start his nighttime investigation, he has no idea what his cameras have captured. As he's about to turn his cameras back on to record, this happens. Так, ладно, пойду устанавливать камеры. Сейчас включу эту. Вон то ли за этой стенкой грохот, либо комод. либо шкаф все грохочет, я не понимаю, либо комод Опа. походу здесь сейчас камеры не буду устанавливать сейчас просто попробую на вспышку after Dennis hears a loud bang and watches as the cabinet door moves on its own, he decides to take his investigation a step further by turning off all the lights, leaving only one dim red light to illuminate his video. 
He goes through some cabinets and drawers and finds some creepy pictures that were most likely left behind by the woman's deceased son. The son is said to have collected strange and allegedly paranormal photos from the internet. As Dennis is looking through the photos, things take a terrifying turn. A loud bang startles Dennis, and now frozen with fear, he stares into the darkness at what sounds like heavy footsteps seeming to come closer and closer. Now very creeped out, he decides to simply put the photos back into the drawer and end his investigation. So could the terrifying activity in the house be the spirits of the woman's son and his grandparents? Or is it something more dark and sinister? Let me know what you think in the comments. To watch Dennis's full investigation, you can check out his YouTube channel, Dark Ghost. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Art of Fear Mason Kratz of Redcliffe, Australia recently renovated an old 1930s warehouse that had been sitting empty for over 25 years. Mason converted the old warehouse into an art studio slash bar called Arts and Drafts. Basically, customers can paint a picture, and have a cold one at the same time. Mason says that since he began renovations on the 1930s warehouse, he has seen and heard many odd things around the old building. But being a skeptic, he has always just dismissed the strange occurrences. That is until late one night around 2 a.m. The Arts and Drafts studio is closed for the night. Mason is working late, all alone in the building when he experiences something downright terrifying. So it's about two o'clock in the morning. Um, I've been working in the studio and the last couple of nights I've been hearing really creepy sounds. Um, I've been hearing footsteps and, and, um, and like seeing things out of the corner of my eye. Now this is a really big old building. And so that's got me a little bit freaked out. But the top of it was just a, a few minutes ago, I was going to the bathroom and I was standing in the stall and I swear someone grabbed the back of my shoulder while I was standing there and I freaked out. So if, uh, if something happens, I wanna have it on video. Stealing his nerves, Mason heads back upstairs to check out the area where he had his chilling encounter filming as he goes. So this is where I was. I was standing right there. The lights are in the bathrooms, of course. Hello? for today. Did you see it? Mason doesn't notice, but right before he ends the video, a face with glowing eyes can be seen at the end of the hallway, and it seems to be staring directly at him. 
What makes the footage even creepier is the fact that the face appears 10 to 15 feet above a staircase. No one or nothing could have been standing up there. And you can see how far it is. I think it was looking around this edge. And there's nothing to stand on. Mason Kratz has never caught anything paranormal on camera and is not even a believer in the supernatural. But this experience just might have changed his mind. The Night Visitor At the Masonic Cemetery in Las Cruces, New Mexico, grieving families began to notice something very disturbing. Decorations and toys that were placed at the graves of their loved ones started to go missing. One of the families decided to set up a hidden trail camera in a tree to capture pictures of whoever was stealing the grave decorations. Instead, they caught something truly bizarre. When they checked the trail camera, they found strange unexplainable images of a small girl wandering around the cemetery in the middle of the night. Worried that the girl might be lost, they showed the pictures to the cemetery staff. The workers were shocked to their core. They said they knew who the small girl was and then led the family to the nearby grave of little Fabiola Gonzalez. The next day, they showed the pictures to the young girl's mother, Sandra Gonzalez. The grieving mother burst into tears. Sandra says that she immediately recognized her deceased young daughter, Fabiola. She said that she had no doubt that it was her daughter. Even in the grainy photo, she said she could still instantly recognize her little girl, from her hair to her clothes and even her shoes. Sandra Gonzalez shared the photos on her Facebook page to raise awareness about her daughter's tragic passing. And I highly recommend that you read more about Fabiola's very sad story over on Sandra Gonzalez's Facebook page, Obey Sandrizi. The Hospital of Shadows. Over on the popular Mexican YouTube Urbex channel, Terror Al Extremo, Luis Manuel Mote and his crew explored the abandoned Gonzalo Castaneda Hospital in Mexico City, Mexico. The hospital has been abandoned for nine years after it was announced that the whole building could possibly collapse at any time. The property has been left in a state of decay. Curious explorers who dare to enter the building say that they have heard strange and unexplained sounds and some claim to have seen the terrifying apparition of a young girl wandering the halls. As the Terror Al Extremo team explores the creepy abandoned hospital, it seems like they might not be alone. Sí, 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 aquí se alcanza a ver bien la mano. Como una especie de dedos. As the Terror Alex Dreamo team climbs a dangerous staircase, a heavy door falls over on its own. Even creepier, the door appears to be covered in bizarre small handprints. It's almost as if someone or something tried to shove the door over onto the team as they were walking there only moments earlier. Throughout their investigation, they keep hearing strange unexplained sounds, but they are unable to identify the source. Then they hear something again and go to check it out. And they see... something. No inventes, güey. ¿Qué pasó? Era algo así como... Traspasó el muro, güey. Lewis and his team claim that they see some dark shape actually walk right through a brick wall. But they're too late to capture it on camera. However, at the exact moment they see the figure, a strange moan can be heard very close to the camera. <laughs> Now the team investigates the entire building, but they don't seem to be able to capture very much on camera. At least that's what they thought. 
When they upload the video to YouTube, viewers of the Terror Alex Dreamo channel spot some very creepy moments that the ghost hunters missed. In this scene, Lewis and cameraman Yanni are discussing the garbage and litter strewn around the room. But then, this happens. Did you see it? As the camera pans towards Lewis, a bizarre shadow figure can be seen walking by the doorway right behind him. Both Lewis and cameraman Mitchell don't notice the figure as it walks past them not once, but twice. But it gets even creepier. When they reach the rooftop of the abandoned hospital, they find what appears to be a broken down small storage area. Heavy pieces of air conditioning equipment block the entrance, making it impossible for them to go inside. So instead, they quickly film the inside of the storage space before leaving to go back downstairs. What their camera captures is downright chilling. Son como nada más como turbinas, no güey, así de los que. Ajá. Bueno, pues aquí no hay nada. Es puro de aire acondicionado o turbinas, algo así, no sé qué sea. Pero bueno. No te vayas a caer, millón. No, no, no. Vámonos. Vamos, chale. Para abajo. A shadowy, mysterious figure seems to be staring at them from the darkness, but they don't see it. They simply decide to end their exploration and head back downstairs. But what do you think this could be? Is something haunting the creepy hospital? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? As always, you decide. You can watch the full video over on the YouTube channel, Terror Al Extremo. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter where I post channel updates, extra videos, and sometimes I just kind of ramble on there. But either way, thank you and I'll see you next week.